Hello everybody, today I'm talking about the Christians, the remnant Christians that I've always talked about. I've always been talking about remnants, the remnant Christians. And I've always said that they are the only remnants that are left in Nigeria. But the mainstream church in Nigeria has been compromised. And, and the people who are, you know, clamoring themselves to be the leaders of, this, of Christianity in Nigeria, they don't have anything to do with Christianity. They only use the name of Jesus to make money and to, you know, to commercialize and to merchandise uh, the gospel. But the, if you want to see the real Christians, I've done a video like this before, that go to the northern part of Nigeria. When you get to the north, that is where you will see the real Christians. Now, so unfortunately, the missionaries from the south have gone there and have diluted and polluted the gospel that is there as well. But there are still some remnants. And, we, you know, and when you see and you hear about Boko Haram and the headsmen that are killing people and destroying people, all that destruction and the death, the death they are not coming from the southern part of Nigeria mostly. They are mostly coming from the northern part of Nigeria. So let's see the way the southern part of Nigeria reacts and the bishops and the big men who call themselves Christians and the people who have the large followership. What, let's see the way they react to, to, to the killing of Boko Haram and, uh, and the headsmen. They, they curse and they, they, they kill. They want to kill. They, they tell people to go and kill. They curse and they say all kind of horrible things. And uh, which is not in the, in the spirit of Christ. Because the spirit of Christ is that pray for your enemy. Bless them. Pray for them. And if we, things are happening, look into yourself. Make yourself, a bet, you know, make yourself better. Seek God. Let that tragedy be an opportunity for you to seek God. So, but, so I, I was impressed to see a video of Northern Christians and the way they are responding. I mean, their leaders were killed, their pastors were killed, their temples were destroyed, their churches were run down, and you will see the video. The church was destroyed by Boko Haram and the headsmen, the villagers were killed, and the few of them that escaped came back. Those, those pastors and leaders came back to that same church. Not to curse the enemy, not to kill the enemy, not to keep on proclaiming curses on Boko Haram that is getting stronger. The more our bishops and NGOs, the more they proclaim the curses, the more the stronger the Boko Haram people can become. But these people, in the spirit of Christ, they decided to behave in a Christian manner. And let's see the video and see what Christianity is all about. Thank God we still have this kind of remnant in Nigeria. Yeah, we, we have sought it over 2,000 years. Jesus get his life for us. And Jesus is different from three. every other, sure. any other prophet. And today, if God says, when my people will humble themselves and they will call unto me, I assure you I will listen to them. In humility, we are asking for forgiveness. These ashes that I see, these ashes that I see all, the, all the place, I say on my knees with this broken body, with these ashes that the Fulani terrorists have burned down many houses, many souls have died. And if it is because of sin of humanity, I say, God, forgive us. We have sinned against you. Father, the second time, as Naaman went into the water seven times, <laughs> I am buffing myself with these ashes. Let you judge my sin. Father, let the Spirit of the Lord Rest upon us. Show mercy. Show mercy. Show mercy on the Christian in Nigeria. Father, let the spirit of cancer, according to Isaiah 11, verse 2, rest upon the church. Show mercy. Our life is in danger. We have nowhere to go. These ashes, Lord, with these broken bottles 
that I took me, I'm bleeding now. Let the bleeding that I do, let my blood be a weakness to heaven. Father, forgive us where we have sinned against us. We are confessing the sin of our forefathers. Jehovah Jehovah. This ash. See the remnant Christians in Nigeria. These people might not be on TV. These people might not be having private jets. They might not be having their own universities. They might not be having Mercedes Benz or, uh, or Rolls Royce. They might not be having big houses. In fact, their houses are burned down and their people are killed, but they took the ashes like the, in the, in the, in the, like the, like the practice of the Old Testament, took the ashes and poured it upon themselves in humility as a sign of brokenness before God and repentance. And the quoted the scripture that if my people who are called by my name will, turn, will, will repent and turn their back on their sins, then God will have mercy upon the line, will hear their prayer. That is what they are doing right now. But what our pastors and bishops are doing, they are coming in self-righteousness. And they are saying, oh, we are cursing. This person will die. That person will die. If, I'm, if they don't die, I'm not the man of God. They have been saying this. Oyedeku has been saying, if they don't die, then he's not a man of God <laughs> for the past five, ten years. And He's, he, and some people are still following him. He said he's not a man of God, and some people are still following him. Uh, what's the name of the guy in Abuja? Enenshe has been saying the same thing. He's not called by God. If those, if those Boko Haram people don't die, and they are not dying, they are getting stronger, and people are still following him, even though they are saying they are not men of God themselves. And it's, uh, Suleiman is saying the same thing. If they don't die, if they don't perish, if they don't do this, then I'm not called by God. Then he thinks they are not called by God. Let's believe them for what they say for themselves. But if you want to look for Christians, look for the unsung heroes like this. These are practical Christianity, not just microphone Christianity. May God raise up more remnants like this in our land. For the love of God, church and nation, peace.